Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm YC. Thank you for being here. So I think today I would like to talk about um, my co-first girl CFG journey. So um, earlier this year, I've done a uh, software specialization co-first girls degree with co-first girl. Uh, for people who don't know, it is a organization. They get people who are in the industry who work uh, as in tech roles to come and teach people who want to learn coding for women who want to learn coding um, and make a career transition or uh, break into tech when they're graduated from university. And so Call for Girls is, is a charitable organization. They do their courses for free. There are various different types of courses they offer. It can be MOOC, which is like a short form training, or it can also be coding Kickstarter. Like I remember it was eight weeks and then one hour or two hours um, every week over over those um, eight weeks period and then MOOC is just like four hours in total um, and but then the software degree is a really intense program it's a 14 weeks coding training and that will be much more of like for people who want to really develop coding and programming skill for a really real career purpose and so I would like to just talk about some of my experience so I did a software specialization degree together with CFG, but prior to that, I've done a uh, SQL uh, coding Kickstarter course, which is like the eight-week program. And I've also done a few MOOCs, which is like self-paced learning. And I really quite like the experience and I knew about CFG through a friend of mine. And so I ran with it. I sort of go through CFG's website and sort of look at what they, what they offer. And I finally decided to go with the uh, software specialization uh, CFG degree a 14 weeks course and it's from Monday to Thursday um, every every evening from 6 30 p.m to 8 30 p.m if you're in the UK obviously they do other like international type of courses so um, I, I would suggest people to come go and have a look and so today I think because I finished the uh, software specialization CFG degree I think it'll be nice to sort of talk about uh, what I like and what I don't like Okay, let's start with what I like. So first of all, the thing that I really like about Cold First Girls is that they really try to build a community. They really try to make make people engage in the process. Um, and this is this is something that you can see from the newsletter. Newsletter is very like energetic and it's like very, you know, uplifting type of manner um, in their newsletter, in their messaging. And while during the course, they have lots of instructors. So bear in mind, these instructors, although they are contracted by CFG, they are like people who work in an industry in a tech role. And they sort of either be um, be approached by CFG or they, most of them, like they join CFG, like self-motivity um, to join CFG and to deliver courses. And so they have a lot of, how to say, encouragement. They have a lot of motivation to try and deliver courses and try to engage students. And so most of them are really, really nice and really, you know, like the people that I was able to connect to with the instructors, they were happy for me to um, continue have their LinkedIn and then continue conversation with them even after the course had been completed. So I really appreciate that. And so that's the big like I like about. And then the second thing that I really like about is that so CFG degree, really to me is more of an intermediate level programming school and it's intermediate and the good thing about that is when i was doing um self-paced learning trying to go through youtube channels and to learn about how to code most of the most of the videos most of the tutorials that i found were so beginner level like i think it just for me it I feel that like I reached a certain point and I just couldn't swim myself out of those ocean where it's mostly beginner level um, tutorials. And I end up being like watching and watching, watching, watching a lot of tutorials, but never really start implementing my code. Whilst in CFG, uh, a software degree, they will really try to, so they will give you the information and then try to force you to code in the process. And so we have had a lot of um, experience where after they gave us a prompt um, of like 
the, the question of the tasks to do and you are sort of built up together as a team and then try to solve the issues together. So you really try to like work on the, on actually writing a code in the process. And I think because of the whole like build up and the whole design of the course, it's a very intense, it's a very high level um, information. I think for people who didn't have some sort of coding background, didn't have information on like, so I choose Python, didn't have like experience with Python, didn't have experience with SQL, they will really struggle um, at the beginning. So you have to like, sort of really put a lot of effort into like learning a concept and actually implement it. So yeah, I, I like it being intermediate level, but it's also like one of the key things, if you think that you're not like quite reached the point of like above in beginner level, I, I think it will be quite tricky for people to jump in um, directly with CFG degree. Um, and then the third thing that I like about is that it's a set schedule that you have to attend. You are required to attend um, the, the live courses for an X amount of time so that you can get a certificate afterwards. Um, you can get qualified and actually uh, fulfilled to, to be qualified for the job uh, after the CFG degree. This therefore gives you a, a huge incentive to really work on this program skill, like you're really committed to it um, and therefore makes you more determined. Me, myself, as a person who's like, if I just watch YouTube tutorial, I can I can like just like, you know, and not being distracted by millions of others like beautiful, uh, you know, YouTube influencers and I just wouldn't be working on my programming skill. So I think having a set schedule and you have a team of people to that you can work together with is actually works out really well for me because I have no self-discipline. <laughs> the last thing is about like the job offer afterwards. So with COFA's girl degree, you will, um, with this degree, you are required to send an application and did a few interviews during the application process. And um, basically what happened is that there will be different industry uh, industries or companies sponsoring you to do this co-first girls degree. Okay, I remember there are a few companies, you can choose like two that you pr uh, preferred companies that you would like to, you know, join them after you've com completed this degree. And then depending on which of these companies, they, they will offer different types of roles. Sometimes it will be like graduate software engineer, it will be data engineer, it will be um, DevOps and it will be like, I don't know, front end, back end, whatever. Um, and so the good thing is about there's, there's a, you are entering this program with the purpose of getting a job afterwards. I personally, um, did not choose to get a job, did not choose to enter a job afterwards. And, um, this is the case that it's also possible. Like, and I told them that like, Hey, um, because of my circumstances, I don't really, I don't really want to you know, enter the, the company afterwards. And, but the, the company was still happy to sponsor me to do this course without the requirement of me joining um, their company afterwards. So I think like, for me, certainly in the case, it's really, you know, I think they have so much flexibility and I just really appreciate the fact that I can still learn, do this training, um, but not feel tied out that I need to like, you know, leave my current life, leave my current plan. Um, I really appreciate that. Okay, so we've talked about what I like. Then let's talk about what I don't like. First of all, it is a very, very, very intense program. You are required to carve away two hours of your time um, from Monday to Thursday for a whole like 14 weeks um, duration. And apart from that, you are required to carve out extra time to do your homework and also do a group project. And sometimes there are like self guidance reading, like you like are required to like learn more about the backgrounds of, of the things. Um, and I think it's very, it's very, very intense for me myself. I, I'm like, have a full time job and also like studying other, other topics at the same time. And it's, it's actually quite intense. I was really, really burned out afterwards. And I just cannot feel more inspired by more by the <laughs> by the same course where I have like friends, they are, you know, they are their moms and they have like job, I don't know, study and then they're also a mom. <laughs> like, how do they do that? Okay. Anyway, I just this is not to warn you, this is not to scare you, but I just 
would like to put it out there it's it's a very intense program you really need to like set up your mind and know that oh my god you're gonna have like no social life um before i joined before i decided to apply i talked to the friend who uh, recommended this program to me um, and i asked her about her experience and she really was saying that like yeah you'll basically have like no social life from monday to thursday and sometimes like even like friday because you're like required to do homework and then sometimes like I don't know, weekends because you're doing the group project and stuff. I remember the most intense period where I just felt like, oh my God, I couldn't have anything in, in, in the right place is when I was preparing for the homework and then the right uh, the week after I we have like assessment. Oh, by the way, you have two assessments, like first foundational level assessment and then a specialization assessment. Um, so I was doing homework, prepare assessment, and then also doing a group project where you are required to do a presentation altogether. But that's a group project. And my group did really well. They really carried me um, through a process. Thank you, thank you. If you would like to know, know about the group project that we did, check out, um, I'll link them in the description below. Check them out. Um, it's a really cool project and I really like it. But yeah, I guess in, in a nutshell, it's very, very intense. and. I did feel like super, super like relieved after it is done. I was like, oh my god, I can finally get my evenings back. Another things that I don't like about is that the the way they provide feedback and provide um, homework scores and provide assessment score it's not very consistent across each module and it's not very consistent across each week. And it's certainly it's not consistent from like assessment to assessment. Um, at the beginning, we were asked to use I don't know. Um, Google Classroom, I've never used that before, but I've, apparently if people were like educated during the COVID time, they, they probably were quite familiar with the system, but I certainly was not. We, we were asked to use that and then afterwards it, it sort of switched to GitHub and then uh, in between those like process, you also have like sometimes pe uh, the, 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 the instructor will just send you a spreadsheet um, about like some of the feedback they give um, on the specific side of the code. And I was just like, okay, it's actually a lot of, a lot of context switching in terms of me trying to consolidate and try to like synthesize the feedback they gave back to me. So I really think it would be much better if they can, you know, just do like be consistent, get us to do GitHub, um, very early on, and then do like the commenting on the GitHub itself, on the code itself, and then say what you can do better, and so that we can like sort of look at the divs or the comments on github um and know that what we had done wrong what we had done better but obviously there are like they kind of need to plan this out and it's probably early stage for 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 the development every instructor has different preferences so i don't know <laughs> this is the way that i would do it but um regardless they've done a great job in terms of delivering course and then organize everything together and make it a very intermediate to advanced level um, program lectures and it's like fully free. Yeah, so that's like the few things that I don't like about CFG. Let me know if you guys would like to see um, that I go through the feedback that they, they, they gave me because I think that's a quite an integral part of this whole process. If you guys would like to see it, let me know. Um, in the comments and then just like upvote, upvote, upvote and then I'll probably do another video about it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope this is really helpful for people who are looking into um, really be determined and learn to program, learn programming and learn to code and um, you know, maybe join tech or maybe not. But like this is for me, I think a really, you know, fulfilling experience and I really like it and, and so yeah if you found this video helpful please uh, give it a thumbs up and i would really appreciate it yeah thank you so much for watching and have a great day i'll see you next time